guys welcome back or welcome to my channel this is a very special vlog it is our first official trip while studying abroad so that's exciting we aren't going anywhere far we're only going in the uk just another city in the uk we are going to bath not a lot of people know what bath is i feel like or at least my friends don't know what bath is if you don't already know bath is home to the famous roman baths we leave tomorrow morning and i haven't packed a thing because we've been plenty busy and honestly i could have packed last night but i just simply didn't want to so i'm gonna pack everything up get a snack. We had afternoon tea today, so I'm still kind of digesting all the sweets that I ate. There was a lot of them. It was great though, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I'm obviously in my PJs right now. Makeup is still on because I just haven't gotten far enough to clean my face. <laughs> After I'm done packing, I think I'm just gonna go to bed. So I will update you guys tomorrow morning when we leave for the train to bath. Good morning, everyone. We are leaving for bath this morning. This is my shirt. It's from h &M? No, I don't know where it's from, from somewhere else. I am quickly making a bagel for breakfast before we leave. We have to leave in about 15 minutes to be at the bus stop. We decided last night that we are going to do a spa in bath assuming they can get us in also the amount of bagels that i've eaten since being here a lot they don't do meal plans here in the uk they are doing one at my university but it's very new it's like this year new otherwise you know of course students just buy their own groceries and make their food in the kitchens that are provided to us otherwise there's tons of students that live off campus as well oh also happy friday it is Friday. What a lovely Friday it is. Hi guys. So we are at Paddington train station. I got some coffee from Cafe Nero, which Darcy recommended to me. And it's actually pretty good. So thanks Darcy. I also got a ham and cheese croissant, which I'm not going to eat until we get on the train. Hopefully, even though we got here pretty early. But I'm glad we did because our first tube was a little bit delayed. Just a little bit, not much, not bad at all. We had a little um, oyster card scare. The audacity. We had an oyster card scare. Um, our balance was in the negatives, so thankfully Paddington's tube station had a top off place. Yeah, I'm here with Madison. Hello. Yay. And we are just sipping our coffee, waiting for our train to come in a little over an hour. Update on that. We were going to book a spa treatment in Bath, like one would, and everything is booked. Like, we should have done this so soon, and we didn't even think about it. So, we've been researching spas, and they're simply all booked. Otherwise, there's one that is a fan favorite, and it's closed for maintenance. So, yeah. Mom reserved us a table on the train, and it's kind of, I'm kind of living for it. Just saying. I'm about to eat my smashed croissant <laughs> that I've had for about an hour now. It's no longer warm, but whatever. We made it to Bath! Oh. The train was very fun, actually. <laughs> it was very smooth. Cute little scenery. Warm. It was warm. Oh. It was like 85 degrees in there, not, well not hot, but it was warm. It was lovely. It was lovely. <laughs> um, we don't know where to go now because we can't check in until 3 and it's currently 12. So... <laughs> time for a really time, long leisurely lunch. <laughs> time for some lunch. Hi guys, we just got done eating. We're currently like in downtown Bath. It's very beautiful. There's a... A uh, church, it seems, right here. It's very cute. Um, we're all still lugging around our bags, which is not cute, but that's okay. Courtney's here as well. Oh my gosh. We're about to get ice cream. Thank you. 
but this is the cutest. Place that's called the Roman Baths. So we're, we're at the Roman Baths. Yeah, I, I figure they're around yeah. here somewhere. We just had some great gelato. Madison got pistachio. It was very good. Mm -hmm. I got amar amaretto, and Courtney got salted caramel. Yes. Yes. Also, I got a marble book. It like explains the entire MCU, and I simply could not be happier. We're gonna try and go to the Airbnb now because we can check in, but we have some bus there, so. Yeah. We're finally on the bus that we've been waiting for about 30 minutes now, potentially. I almost died. I ran into ongoing traffic to get to this bus, so. Yeah, so much fun. We made it to the Airbnb. It's super cute. It's, it's adorable. I love it. And the lady was so nice because we had a problem with the lock on the door. We think it was frozen and somehow I got it open after we were trying for maybe five, 10 minutes, but um, we got it open, but the key was adorable. It was like a, like, I don't know. It was a cute key, but we're here and all is well. We hung out at the Airbnb for a little bit and then we got ready and now we're going to a pub. There's this really cute pub down the street here called something Fields, More Fields, Moth Fields, I, I don't know. But evidently it's cute. It was recommended. Oh, it is so adorable. It looks like a little cottage. The Moorfields. Look. It's kind of like a mini castle in a way. It's giving like Viking tangled energy. I know those things don't correlate, but like it's just so adorable. And I'm so excited. This is my pizza. Mine. And that's Mary Claire's. Like... I'm sorry. Oh, and they gave us a game. Well, we got our own game, but they had games available. <laughs> like, this is just a sleigh. They gave us a game, we got it. We got it. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Yay for the first day in Bath. First official day in Bath. I don't know exactly what we're doing today. I know that we're going to a cafe pretty soon here, I think, to get some coffee, maybe a pastry for lunch, and then lunch, no, breakfast. Then we're going to go to lunch after that. I know that we plan on exploring Bath a little bit today. I just got dressed. I am wearing white on white and then these jeans and my Converse, which you can barely see, but that's okay. And then I also went for green earrings today, which I don't typically do, but today, like it's kind of foggier outside and to me it's just screaming like evergreen. Yay for the first official day in Bath. We made an oopsie. We all didn't realize that we only booked the Airbnb for one night, not two. So this morning, Madison got a notification that the train was today, and we were like, what? But um, she comes down and she was like, we only have this place for one night. Like, we have to get out of here. Because it was by that time, it was 10.45, and we had to be out of there by 11. So we barely got out. But now we're eating breakfast, so... they've kept this like this for so long it's incredible but I'll show you guys what it looks like like people bathed in that way back when pretty cool Roman baths tour and it was well worth the money. It was so interesting, very fun. And now we have a baguette. <laughs> We're hanging out in a wool shop to wait for the other girls to be done because we moved on a little bit faster than they did. So we are just chilling in the warmth with our baguettes. Baguette. We're on the train back to the like Someone's having a party. We went to eat at the Cozy Club. So it was called Cozy Club. It was pretty good, but it filled me up. I'm very excited to go back home tonight because honestly, even though we were supposed to stay in Bath for another day, technically we thought we were supposed to. We're kind of glad we didn't. I want my bed. Happy Sunday. I am very happy to be back in my 
London dorm right now, not gonna lie. Bath was fun, it really was, but I'm very happy to be back. Today is Sunday, my favorite day of the week, and that means that it's Sunday reset day. So I'm going to clean up some stuff in my room, which isn't a lot, but I'm going to do laundry, I'm going to do everything that I need to do to prep for the week ahead. So let's take on Sunday. washers and dryers are taken so we're going to do laundry later for now i'm going to start planning some future trips it's hard when you don't know the exact dates that you want to go on these trips because things are cheaper certain days obviously but money is a big um factor of course when it comes to what we're doing and where we're staying i have a list of all the countries that i really want to go to and i have a list of the ones that i will go to if i have time and money left over i'm a little nervous of the financial aspects of this trip just because i'm always worried about money which is toxic don't don't do that to yourself i just need to stop spending money on going out food and coffee every day <laughs> i mean this trip is obviously more of like an experience so um of course i'm gonna spend money on things that i don't necessarily need to do but am i gonna do it yeah so I'm trying to be a little less hard on myself when it comes to that stuff, but regardless, I still want to plan out everything, make sure I know before going in kind of what I want to be spending. That's what I'm going to do while I wait for my laundry. Both of my loads are in the washer. I have to wait for a dryer. Hopefully one comes before... Um, before we leave later, we are going to the King's Head, which is a pub just down the street. And it's really cute. It's got like a coffee bar, hot chocolate bar. Um, it's kind of quiet. It should be really quiet, especially on a Sunday. But yeah, we're going to try and go there and hang out if we want a snack. There's food there. Obviously, it's a pub. But and then we're going to come back home and make tacos for dinner because I bought taco meat. So we're going to do that. And that's going to be exciting. I'm starting to get a little hungry, so I'm going to go make myself some lunch. I will see you guys at the pub. We had a very productive day yes, at the King's Head. We got a lot done. <laughs> We're going to the co-op now because raspberries. they have raspberries and salami, right? And salami, the good salami. Yes. Yeah. I need to find myself some cotton like circle things so oh, I can yeah, take my makeup off. <laughs> Cottons? I don't know what they're called. But yeah, that, that successful King's Head Day. All right, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. It was a fantastic weekend. I'm so happy I got to bring you guys along to our journey to Bath. We are currently planning some other trips, so be on the lookout for those in the future. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll be back with more content soon.